after the premiere of the teaser and the trailer for Matrix Resurrections, many new questions arose. One of the most prevalent is why Neo, when looking in the mirror, sees an elderly person. Could it be that Thomas Anderson is a crazy old man on the verge of a mental breakdown? Why is the 1999 Matrix movie being projected within Matrix 4? If you want to know the explanation to these and other questions and theories about the Matrix universe, then keep watching and welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. The first time we saw old man Neo was in the blue pill teaser. Neo took a blue pill and in the mirror we saw a reflection of an old person. Then in the Matrix Resurrections trailer, there is a scene in which Neo is in a room looking at himself in a mirror. For a brief moment, we see old man Neo again. So what does this mean? Why is Neo's reflection different? The first possibility is insanity. What if Neo never existed? This movie could be about an old man who thinks that during his youth, he was the one, the savior of the world, based solely on delusions created from watching this movie. How did we arrive at this conclusion? There is a scene in the trailer where you can see the original 1999 Matrix film being projected. Specifically, the scene when Neo takes the red pill. This could mean that Matrix 4 is about a mental patient. Nothing that happened in the previous trilogy was real. This would explain why Thomas is seeing a therapist and taking blue pills. His memories are the delusions of an old man living in depression and with post-traumatic stress disorder. Maybe he is not Neo. The story of the one never happened in this movie. Rather, it is a movie within a movie. Matrix 4 takes place outside of the once established Matrix lore and it uses it as a plot device for the new movie. The classic Matrix trilogy is just a piece of fiction inside fiction. But of course, we do not believe that this is the case. It's too meta. There are other scenes in the trailer that shows that the Matrix is real, or at least a simulation that Thomas thinks are delusions, and his therapist is treating him for that reason, to convince him that his dreams are not real. Neo could be under the clutches of the architect again, but then why does he look like an old man? When humans connect to the Matrix, it's done using the mechanical parts of their brain, the jack behind their skulls, where their RSI is stored. The residual self-image is an avatar that allows a red pill or a blue pill to project themselves and interact with their surroundings. It also works as a form of identification. Zion operators know where the red pills are because of their RSI ID code. Understanding this, we can see why Neo looks like an old man in the mirror. When Neo sacrificed himself in Matrix Revolutions, his body was taken away by the machines. In multiple scenes of the trailer, we see Neo's body surrounded by robots. There is a clip that shows us the care bots, the machines in charge of taking care of the people inside the pods. These machines are touching Neo's body. The scene is likely showing us how Neo's body was healed or rebuilt after he died in revolutions. But the machines have a big problem. Once Neo is reconnected to the Matrix, the red pills will find him. His residual self-image will be easily recognized by any Zion ship, so the architect must have changed Neo's RSI. For the blue pills who live inside the Matrix, and the red pills who are scanning the Matrix, all they see is a crazy old kook, like a new skin created to camouflage the real thing. This means that Neo feels like the Neo we knew, and when looking at himself in the mirror, he sees that something is wrong. He feels that his body is different from what he sees. This is why he thinks that he might be crazy and seeing a psychiatrist. Now this psychiatrist that we suspect has something to do with the architect prescribes antonofluxin pills. As we've mentioned in the previous videos, the name of this medication is a combination of the words ontology and fluxin. Ontology is a philosophical study of existence, and fluxin is a drug that cleanses bacteria and viruses from the body. We think that the pill is designed to suppress Thomas's desire to question reality and his feeling of mirrored self misidentification, that he does not recognize his own reflection. This leaves us with another question. If Neo is sane, then why is the Matrix movie being screened as a movie in Matrix 4? This question deserves its own video, but in our opinion, it has a lot to do with the infection that happened in Matrix Revolutions. There is also a third possibility, and that is that Neo is an old man in the real world. He is seeing his body as it truly is, and not the body that he sees in the simulation, which could be a lie. The simulation is projecting Neo as young, although this is unlikely. 
The idea that the architect changed Neil's residual self-image to hide him is certainly an interesting idea, and it answers a question that we've been asking ourselves for some time now. How did the Red Pills not find Neo yet? Why won't they give up his remains? They say they haven't recycled them. They belong in Zion, in a holy place. He saved us. He saved them. He saved the Matrix. But for this idea to work, someone has to control Neo. So what if I told you that Neo's therapist could be the architect? Another topic for another video. You seem particularly triggered right now. Can you tell me what happened? I've had dreams that weren't just dreams. Am I crazy? We don't use that word in here. But do you agree? Why does Neo look like an old man? Is it because the architect changed his residual self-image? Or is he really an old man? To all of our new subscribers, we say welcome. In this channel, we talk about everything related to the Matrix universe, from its comics, which perhaps you didn't know existed, the video games, and of course, the movies. And we have so much more to talk about, thanks to Matrix Resurrections. At Metacortex, we're crafting the future today, working at the forefront of a new reality, virtual, augmented, crafted for you with proprietary machine learning and AI. We are among the top software companies in the world because our employees know they are more than just themselves. They're part of a whole. That's why they've repeatedly voted us as one of the most respectable software companies on the planet. Come, join us today. Metacortex. For us, you are the one. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.